What's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? William Wells, Atlanta, Georgia, just to have some fun. Awesome. And what's the favorite policy that you've seen come out of the Trump administration so far? Probably the tax cuts. And why is that? It's just more money for everybody. For everybody? For everybody. So when the government taxes and takes money from people, it just it makes it magically disappear and there's, there's less money to go around? For the most part, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know that's not how it works, right? It just means that the money goes to the government instead of the people that it was taken from. That's true. So and when, it disappears after that. <laughs> and then, well, then it, it disappears into the hands of government profiteers and military contractors and, and other crony friends of government, right? For the most part, right, yeah. So if government cuts taxes but spending stays the same, what's the effect? Nothing. So has the Trump administration cut government spending significantly? Government spending, no. They have not cut a dime of spending. And that's the biggest problem that the United States has right now is that the governments keep spending the same amount of money and they don't bother to cut any taxes because no one wants to get their money. Nobody wants to get dirty and cut things for well, your from the budget. entitlement programs. Yeah. So your favorite policy so far out of the Bush administration is amounting to nothing, according to you. The tax cut, I mean, I, I got more money in my paychecks. I could say that much. Everyone did. Except for you if you're on the bottom tier of that tax bracket. So the poor got hurt then. The people who are on the bottom tier didn't get any tax cuts, but working middle class did. They didn't get taxed to begin with. Okay, so just people who didn't get taxed. So if the government is still spending the same amount of money, where is that coming from now? Who's paying for that? The people. So you're still paying for it. You just have this little magic trick where you get more in your paycheck, but the government still ends up taking the same money away from everybody. Wait, re repeat that again? So you fell for like you fell for a little trick, right? They they they, they allow you to have more money in your paycheck, yeah. but the cost of government for everybody stays the same. So that money comes from other places in the economy, and it seems like your 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 favorite thing about the Trump administration, like you said, really amounts to nothing because they didn't cut government spending. They just changed who they were taking the money from. Let me think about that one for a second because. Because I do know the tax revenue has gone up through sales tax. Sales tax has definitely gone up. and It is pouring more money into the economy where people are making more money. So you're spending more uh, on tax, you're, you're paying more in taxes, but through sales taxes. The other taxes, state taxes and your local taxes. So we're going to cut these taxes and increase these. And the other one, of course, you know, you understand how the inflation tax works, right? They print more money, they borrow more money, they create more money in the banking system. And so... They steal from everybody who's using the U.S. dollar, and the value goes down through inflation. The purchasing power of your dollar goes down, and the people who are closest to that fountain of money in the middle of the system, they're the ones who really benefit, right? I don't know enough about that to answer that question. Right. What's the right amount of taxation? Ideally, I wouldn't like any taxation, but there is a magic number somewhere. But I don't know what it is. I think I think I think you were getting at it. I think the magic number is is zero. Would you have a problem with that? I wouldn't have a problem with it. No. All right. Well, then I hope you consider that what really matters when it comes to what government is stealing from the people is not what's being taxed and what you can see, but what they're spending. Because one way or another, we pay for it, right? Either way, we pay for it. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However. The next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.